Uh, so it's, it was a lie, a big lie. Thank for South Africa for all the efforts. But uh, it looks like the ICJ is uh, pro-Israelis. Uh, so fuck them and uh, fuck the whole governments around the world. Only the people who are standing with the, not the, with the Palestinian even, with the humanity. So, but uh, we literally lost our trust uh, in every decision maker in the whole world. So, yeah, again, fuck the ICJ. Do you blame him for thinking like that? Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly certain that the ICJ demanded for a ceasefire or called for a ceasefire when Russia was attacking Ukraine. Right? I guess we can be happy for small victories, but at the end of the day, those victories are small and we have to remember that. We can't let the ICJ just get away with patting themselves in the back that, okay, we ordered for humanitarian aid to get in and we ordered for an exemplary case to be made against those who are inciting genocide. whoop de doo Not good enough. However, it is not all hopeless. We have pushed public opinion in one direction, a positive direction, and I believe undoubtedly that it had had a knock-on effect onto the ICJ to make this ruling. Of course, it was never going to be easy, and we are constantly reminded at milestones like this that, of course, it's not easy. So please, don't lose your motivation, don't lose your willpower, push forward, spread the news, spread the word, try your hardest to win over hearts and minds towards this particular side of the conversation so that people realize that what happening is a travesty against humanity. Verily, Allah's help is near.